Hi, I am Ravi from uniquedict.com and you are watching a special episode on types of resistors bands and their uses. Let us start. The first one is therapy style resistance bands. These resistance bands are flat, extra wide and thin resistance bands made out of rubber with open ends. By open ends I mean that you can't attach accessories such as plastic handles, door anchors, ankle straps on either sides of these resistance bands. And this results a limited use of these bands in yoga, pilot stretching and general toning of upper and lower body. They typically provides a very low resistance of up to 10 pounds and they have a typical length of 5 to 8 feet in general. The next type is mini flat loop resistance bands. These resistance bands are similar to the therapy style resistance bands uh, in terms of the flat surface. However, they are still quite different as compared to the therapy style resistance bands. The number one difference is they are more thicker as compared to therapy style resistance bands and as a result they offer higher resistance uh, in the range of 20 to 80 pounds. Further, they are less wider as compared to therapy style resistance bands and they form a closed loop without any loose ends and they find uh, most popular exercises uh, in terms of squats, uh, lunges, leg side raise, front raise and you can perform literally all the exercises of the lower body with ease. The next type is power loop resistance bands. These resistance bands are also having a flat surface just like mini loop resistance bands. However, mid flat uh, power loop resistance bands are having a very high resistance as compared to the mini loop resistance bands due to their very high thickness. They offer the resistance up to 230 pounds and they have the typical length up to 7 feet. So, these power loop resistance bands can easily be used for the body weight, body weight exercises such as pull up, chin up and other calisthenic exercises. Further, you can also perform deadlift, shoulder press, shoulder raise, rowing, chest press, biceps curl and many other types of exercises and these are the most common and most popular resistance bands which are used by uh, the intermediate and advanced athletes. The next type is tube resistance bands. As the name tells all, these resistance bands are made out of cylindrical tubes which may be hollow or which may not be hollow and they typically comes in the length of up to 3 feet and offers a medium resistance of 8 to 60 pounds and they normally comes in the form of kit with different resistance levels uh, which can help you uh, with progressive overload as your stamina increases over the time and they are very different as compared to the loop resistance bands. They actually have uh, clips on both the sides of the bands which can be used for attaching of various kinds of accessories such as uh, door anchors, such as um, ankle straps, wrist straps and that makes them a versatile accessory and they can be used for all the body parts exercises and you can simulate uh, all the dumbbell exercises with these resistance bands and however uh, these resistance bands do have some limitations and they are not very comfortable for stretching yoga pilots as you are with therapy style resistance bands Further, they are not as comfortable 
for some of the lower body exercises such as squats lunges um, as you are comfortable with many low resistance bands so do keep it in mind the next type is fit tube resistance bands as the name suggests these resistance bands are also made of cylindrical rubber tubes however they come with pre-fitted plastic or foam handles on both the sides and you can't attach any other accessories with these tube resistance band type and and as a result you can't perform uh, as many exercises as you could be performing with the clip type tube resistance bands which i discussed just before this type uh, they typically offers the resistance of 5 to 75 pounds and which is quite similar to the clip type tube resistance bands and these are popular for the people who are beginners or for the elders uh, who don't need to change the accessories uh, on a regular base and who don't need to increase the resistance to match the increasing stamina and who are just doing the exercises for uh, general fitness or for the uh, general routine without any serious and these resistance bands are also made out of cylindrical rubber tubes however they are forming a closed loop and you can't attach any other accessories as you could be attaching with clip type and fit tube resistance bands so this results are very limited use for lower body exercises and look quite similar to the mini loop flat resistance bands and their pro and cons vary just like mini loop resistance bands and they offers a medium resistance of 20 to 80 pounds and they come in the typical length of up to 2 feet with a width of up to 5 centimeters the next type is flat loop resistance bands these resistance bands as the name suggests are quite similar to the mini loop flat resistance bands and mini loop tube resistance bands they are made out of the mixture of fabric and rubber and they have been designed to solve the major drawback uh, of flat loop resistance bands actually flat loop resistance bands tend to slip when used over a bare skin of lower body and they may cause skin allergy in some people and to resolve this issue uh, fabric has been used which is much more comfortable on the skin and uh, there are quite lesser chance of skin allergy with flat loop resistance bands further they are having a uh, much higher width as compared to the loop resistance bands and they make them a much more comfortable as compared to the flat loop resistance bands the next type is gym stick resistance bands these resistance bands are very innovative in design they have resistance tubes on both sides of the gym stick and gym stick itself is foldable and these resistance bands have been designed to simulate the exercises that you might have been performing with the barbell inside the gym and not only the barbell exercises you can perform many other exercises and it provides a very different kind of experience and the last one in this episode is chest expander it is made out of multiple strings of detachable resistance tubes and they have a large handles on both sides and they, this makes them a very comfortable for doing a typical kinds of exercises uh, for chest muscles but they can also perform biceps curl triceps curl shoulder raise and many other exercises here comes my final opinion now from my own experience and from the information that i have given you through this episode um, i can suggest you 
that you need to go for more than one variety of resistance bands. Um, each resistance band type may not provide you the whole body exercises. You may feel very comfortable with various uh, typical kinds of exercises while you may not be as comfortable with other kinds of re- exercises. So, in case of intermediate and advanced athletes, I will suggest you to go for a tube resistance band along with a power loop resistance band and you may also go for chest expander as well. Uh, however, if you are a beginner then I will suggest you to go for uh, therapy style resistance bands and mini loop resistance bands and you may also go for tube resistance bands uh, if you are interested in uh, a very versatile kind of exercises for upper body as well thanks a lot